Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. So the goal for these first episodes is to get caught up to where we left off in our pre-alpha series. If you enjoy modded Minecraft, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can find the channel again. And of course, if you like these videos, smash that like button. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. What I wanted to do was I wanted to break this guy. Because the quest reward, right? This quest reward is actually pretty sweet. It is under... I really thought that they were going to get rid of all of the Enigmatica 6 stuff. And only have an expert quest line. Because these... This is overpowered. The energy cell and the energy cable. OP reward right there. Oops. Should I have gone redstone furnace first? Nah. Alright, so what we can do now is we can, uh, we can put this stuff down the same way uh, that I did in my uh, my Brain fart when we did uh, pre alpha. Yeah, Felinta, uh, like that's that's just one thing that I've been really hoping I could do move to Berlin and join Humboldt University. Like, it's, I have to get in first, of course. So, let's see, we have our basic universal table. And with that, we should be able to move the machines as well. Magma Crucible. The Sterling Dynamo is going to be attached over here. There we go. And now we can pump this guy full power. We'll put the Magma Crucible here. The Induction Smelter here. We'll leave that one cable there for right now. Doesn't really, it's not that important. Drop off our tools. All right. So we need the casting basin here. The faucet here. The seared heater inside. And we need four pieces of copper. Are you serious? Thank you. <laughs> For a second there, I thought we were missing one piece of copper. You can eat this too. Alright, how's our rice? Toy, toy, toy. Or tol, tol, tol. Is that popcorn? Or what is that? I can't tell what emoji that is. My eyes. How much can this guy hold? Eight buckets. Eight. Cooked rice. Are we really out of rice? Yeah, we don't have any rice in here. We have the other rice from Farmer's Delight. Get rid of this. And drop this off. Nice, we got some shrimp. Oh yeah, the tool. Drop off our tools. Boop boop. Whoopity whoop. We do still need leather, so we can make that smoker. I use, yeah, I've never used that saying before. Toy, toy, toy. Popcorn. All right, wait. Did I get rid of the last piece of copper? Where did I put it? You can only burn... 
Oh no, you can put all of it in there. I forgot about that. Okay. So now we can cast it out, right? Hey, I've done this before. Config. Auto output. Don't you dare. I've done this before. Can I not pour it out of the... No, I should be able to. I did it as a bucket, didn't I? This has to work. Did I really not get it out? I Now I remember I, I made enough for a bucket, didn't I? Bleh! Uh, I forgot to put the heater in. I can't do it after. Uh, it should have come out the front. It should have worked, but it didn't. Uh, so what I'm going to need is five more to complete the block. And then I need to smelt it up again so that I can use a bucket. So I do need, I need more. I need some more copper. It's nighttime. Are you sure you can't output out of the front? Because it has one, oh yeah, you're right, the front. All right, so I'll cast it out because I can't break this now or else I'll lose those four. So I need to go... Oh, and Enderman was here. Will you come back, Enderman? I'll get a little bit more copper so that we can uh, cast it out. Come on. Come on. You know you want it. There you go. There we go. Three. We need six. Wait. I saw you, Enderman. Looked at you, fool. Come on. Boy. Give me all your pearls. Got him. No pearls. I'm pretty sure, like... We, we, we're gonna have to let them kill us or slay us so that they feel bad and give us more ender pearls. We need to find more villages with waypoints. Yeah, we cleared this entire area. So let's head to... Really? We got beef. So we need at least five pieces of copper to cast out the rest of that block. I could do something weird. Could do something weird. Let's try something weird. Everybody likes weird, right? Boat! You reminded me too. I need to make one of those boats. And tell me what you're talking about. Uh, putting, putting mobs inside boats, Ren? I need to... Surprise we haven't run into more cows. Using boat as a trap, just putting the boat down. 
uh, on the floor, on the ground. That sounds like a great idea. I know we can make one of these dudes. Boat, chest, spruce boat. Oh, we haven't eaten the steak yet. Uh, but yeah, let's try something weird. You and you. Yeah. That's four. <laughs> Will this work? Uh, you here like this, like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. I kind of feel like this fluid would not is not supposed to stay like molten. GG, I have defeated expert mode. Big brain. <laughs> okay, so we got our smeltery controller. Good thing that this is not a tutorial video, because that would have been ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. The worst tutorial video ever made. Alright, so we have the smeltery controller. We have... Whoa, I got turned around. This guy, these guys. Uh, we need... We need a tank, of course. We need this controller. We need a basin. We got two of these guys. We need uh, channels, right? No, no, no. We need... Drains. We need copper. <laughs> copper! Now I understand why... Uh, why they used a, a, a black hole singularity to go mining for copper. Now I know. Now it all makes sense for mining for copper. We need at least two more pieces of copper. This is what I get for not mining the copper that was at... At spawn. Let's see if we can get super lucky. I think we... Whoa. I think we cleared a lot of the copper from over here already. Also, let me check and see. Do emu drop leather? Because that'd be pretty sweet. They drop feathers. Which makes outback leggings. Banners. Let's see. Come back here. Whoop. Feathers. No leather. Oh, do these guys drop leather? The gazelles? They drop food. They drop mutton. Okay. Nope, no leather. Nope. Alright, there is copper right there. That's what I was looking for. Wild crop. Advancement. Copper. Do they have the sites? The site potions? No, right? No potions master in this. Whoops. No, no potions master for site. There's another piece of copper. One piece, right? Why are they always spawning in ones? And I don't want to 
avoid the uh, the coal. I have a feeling the more I avoid the coal, I'm going to end up running out of coal at some point. We definitely need to get some uh, some Sushiko crafting up and running. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Creepo. What does that do? Lunch bag. Oh, cool. Yeah, definitely. Will not spawn an explosion. So I don't need to worry about them blowing up. They're just going to vanish when they explode. That beekeeper gets keeps getting stuck in the water. I don't want to travel too far away from my waypoint. Sight charms, are they? Are there some apotheosis ones? Also, let me know if I accidentally jumped past uh, some copper. What is up with this? One of those underground ones. Oh, yeah, it's completely submerged. That's cool looking, though. Guess we can put some of this stuff up. Not that. Bones. Gonna be busy not giving me diamonds. Ugh. Diamonds and an ender pearl. And we have more Minecraft pigs. Go ahead and grab those. Uh, cool. Is it nighttime? Yeah, it's sunset. Okay, what can we use? Yeah, the, we can use this stuff. There we go. So we're still looking for copper. If anybody sees copper, spam chat so that I don't miss it. All of this, what I'm doing right now with you guys watching is stuff that I do in between episodes. So that you guys don't have to suffer through gathering. Tin. Ow. Getting good amounts of iron. Oh, we got a forest fire. Ooh, is it a forest fire because there's lava? Got a grizzly bear and we got copper down here. Will the grizzly bear protect its copper? Unsuccessfully. There's more copper. Lag spike. Oh, it's probably because of the fire. Let's go check out the fire and see if there's lava. Looks like it. Hopefully there's lava and not just a uh, fire from magma blocks. Can magma blocks cause fire? There's one lame I'll take it. Is 
that it. If I had a diamond pick, I could take this obsidian with us. Golden leggings might come in useful. Minecraft pigs. The boat. I want to put the boat down. Iron nuggets. We have some obsidian. Let's grab the fire charge. Another lava source block. Where? Where is it? I want it. Yep, you're right. What would I do without you guys? Not find lava. We got two. Awesome. So at least we we uh we got some lava on the surface. We don't have to go mining for lava right now. We're just still looking for copper. We should have enough copper now. Ten pieces. We have enough. Get out of here, boy. Rye. Sweet potatoes. Gazelle horn. We don't need the marble. All right. Crops. Put the golden leggings up. All right. And I think I am not too far away. Oh, is that an emerald? Fancy. We got two emeralds at the minimum. And copper, of course. Uh, we could eat our last cod and chips. Two emeralds. I'm leaning my head again to see around corners. Broken. Of course, now, on my way back, I'm going to run into a ridiculous amount of copper, aren't I? Not a tree in sight. <laughs> you see? Told you. At least five pieces of copper. Raspberry bush. It's like, I need to stare at the... <laughs> I need to stare at the ground so I don't see all this copper I'm missing now. Did I leave a crafting table over here? I didn't. Do I have any wood in here? I do. I don't have any sticks over here. We might as well just go home. We know where the copper is. That's the important part. All right, let's drop off this stuff. And we can smelt our copper. There we go. Can swoopity whoop some stuff around. Ate that. We didn't eat this. Rotten flesh. Got more seeds. Grape. Tomato. Gazelle horn. Kind of curious about this. Let's 
Let's bust out all of our animals. Yeah. And they turn into glass bottles afterwards, which is pretty good. Broken. Beef. We got mutton. We got pork chop. One, two, three, four. We have these seeds. We could put them out there. Tin chunk. Fire charge. We need to eat these too. Sticks. And all the pork chops. We need a new axe. We need a new pick. Alright, rotten flesh. Chicken. Got him. So raw chicken we need to eat. Oh, we need to get the industrial hemp going. Ah, uh, raw chicken glass bottles. Glass bottles. Wait a second. Do we have... On the second floor, don't we have... Right around here, right? Yo! Honey bottle. That works. I'll take it. Put this in here then. Get rid of this. Okay, let's drop off the bones. The obsidian. Oh, we got stripped spruce now. So much junk. Like, should I drink the honey bottle? Undate, first time chatter. Hey, hey, how are you doing today? Let's see. Se seared fuel. I guess we could replace some of the wheat with some of the crops that we have. Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, this is a fresh run. And we have a follow. Potato seeds. Undate, following. Thank you so much for following. That means a lot to me. You're helping the channel grow, and I very much appreciate that. Everyone that's here and watching. Zucchini. Let's put them. Let's make a straight row of these guys since we only have one of each. Grape. Oh, the grape's not gonna work. I busted it, didn't I? No, I got it back. Cool. We'll put the grape here for right now because it's not gonna work unless we have two. That barley. Way too many wheat seeds. Put the boat on the ground and see if a zombie will move in. Whoa, it's big. I was not expecting that. Looks cool. 
does it not break? Rowing boat. <laughs> Don't mind me, cows. <laughs> I can do it. If you shift click it, it's it has the inventory. So it's oops. <laughs> I forgot I have a whoopee cushion on my head. <laughs> Break. I'm used to my boats just breaking. Man, does it have like a durability that I have to go through before it breaks? Uh should I put it in the water? It's a big boat. I wonder if it blocks, if it just straight up blocks zombies. We'll see. It's a floating boat. It has anti-gravity, right? It's an anti-gravity boat. It works. We'll leave it there. Way too many weed seeds. Don't need these guys. We were working on... We got sidetracked with food for a second. So raw chicken we haven't eaten. Cooked pork chops. Regular pork chops. Cooked mutton. Regular mutton. We have the honey bottle. We have a bunch of wheat now. We can put the bread up for right now. Raw chicken we haven't eaten. A lot of not eaten foods. Okay. So what was it? We needed the copper. That's what it was. We needed the copper so that we could make our uh, drains. There we go. We'll make two drains. So we have two drains. We have two seared faucets. We have a basin. And we have a casting table. We have a smeltery controller, and we have a fuel tank. We have bricks. Let's see if this is enough, or if we need to make some more grout. The hover boat. All the cool kids have one. You know you want a hover boat now. We have a shovel. I'm not going to hit vein miner. All right, so let's do a basic three by three to be stingy for right now. What? Here I am talking about being stingy, and I'm setting it in the ground. So yeah, we definitely, we need more. You there. You here. Drain, drain. Like so. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten. So we need 40 more bricks. Let's see. Do we. What did we run out of? We ran out of. Uh, not grout. We ran out of. We have sand. We ran out of gravel, right? No, we have gravel. Oh, I guess I just didn't make and make more. Like so. 64. I counted 40. I counted 40 and I shift click two stacks. That's how I play. Awful. All right. This guy is going to need more coal. 
guess we can just ninja it for a second. Get rid of that. These guys, I guess we can keep the golden pants in here. Just in case we do piglin bartering. Ender pearl diamonds. Get these guys going. Do I really not have magenta amaranth in here? Guess I could grab one of these to eat as well. Onion. All of these foods that are not eaten yet. That's the hard part about starting over, is, is eating all of the foods that you haven't eaten yet. All of them over again. Demon's dream fruit. We don't need that many. Trash can. All right. Right. We need forty to get the to get this guy up and running. Forty bricks, and then we'll have a functional tinker smeltery. And then. Uh, when the Tinker Smeltery is up, I'm going to have to call it a stream, because I've been streaming for almost four and a half hours. I'm really, really grateful, super grateful that there's eight people watching right now. And I wish I could just stream until uh, everybody's sick of me. <laughs> I wish I could do that. But I do have plans today. So it's a, a big bummer that I have to call the stream when, when eight people are watching. But hopefully, if you guys like my content, if you toss a follow on Twitch, or if you toss a subscribe on YouTube, uh, you'll be able to make it to future streams as well. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'll be streaming tomorrow as well, since I have tomorrow off. Yes, Undate, I already have episode one, the one that I recorded yesterday. I have that episode is already up on YouTube right now. So if you guys can can uh, can hit like and leave a comment, whatever comment you want. Tell me, uh, tell me how awful the episode is. It doesn't matter. Tell me about your pets. It doesn't matter. The YouTube algorithm, the way it works, is it's based off of views and how many people like from those views and how many people comment yeah so the more people like and comment the more youtube will recommend the video to other people and that would be super amazing of you guys if you could help the channel grow this way i know as soon as we hit 2000 subscribers we started getting a lot more subscribers so I think it's one of those things where people watching YouTube videos don't take a channel seriously until they're at 2,000 subscribers, maybe. Maybe the more subscribers I have, the more incentive people will have to subscribe. I'm not 100% sure. But we broke 2,000 subscribers on February 24th, and we're about to hit 2,100. Like, we're already at 2,070, I believe. 
which is is amazing. It makes me very very happy because this is uh, more or less a hobby, and uh, I enjoy recording as long as I'm either entertaining you guys or teaching you guys. Either way, if I'm if I'm a benefit to y'all in any way, that makes me feel good. Just any way of contributing. We're at 33. We need 40. Let's go ahead and put some more in there. We can get rid of the clay while we're at it. The clay. We have seven pieces of copper. We're out. We have a bunch of foods that we have not eaten yet. The backpack upgrade I wanted to check out. Iron backpack. Yeah, for the iron backpack, we need pig iron. Oh, Undate, from, from videos that I uploaded onto YouTube? Is that where you learned that from? For some weird reason, I've always been obsessed with bees. Like, uh, in 1.12, I played FTB Continuum, and they had career bees, which they, uh, they didn't have a 3D model that flew around. Career bees... A lot of people hated bees back then, and I was obsessed with it. <laughs> and I loved how in FTB Continuum, bees could make resources for you. Old bees were hard, but I'm kind of like that old school gamer where the harder it is, if I understand how it works, then I feel special. I guess, because I, I, I know how it works. Because most of the stuff, people hate bees because it's hard. You're right. And most people, when it's hard, they don't want to learn it. And especially, like, I think when the first time I put up something bee-related, it was like a an hour and a half video on how to breed towards imperial and uh, industrious bees. It took an hour and a half, and it was edited down an hour and a half. I think it took me all of Friday and Saturday uh, back then to breed all the way through, and I edited all of the wait time, and it was still an hour and a half video with it edited down. Crazy, but I loved it. So what we could do tomorrow, aluminum rods are no problem. Tough fabric, I can put the industrial hemp down now. And we can alloy the pig iron tomorrow. Clay, blood, yeah, rotten flesh. Molten iron, blood, and clay. We can make that, and we can upgrade our backpack. And we have 50. So this should be enough bricks now. We got 12 bricks. It is nighttime again. And uh, Anira, the videos are super helpful. I used your blaze spawner and tinker smeltery combo to make blazing blood and then into a magmatic dynamo. Yep, really good, easy energy. Yep, absolutely. Did you use the, uh, the automated uh, with the, what's it called? Seared duct, the one with cobalt, so you can make it always cast out the blazing blood back into the smeltery. That's what I love. I love that uh, it can be fully automated, fuel-wise. Love it. Oh yeah, Ren, definitely. Old bees, Gendistry is what made it fun, definitely. The randomization of breeding later on after industrious and imperial that was it like if if i was doing it randomly that no i wouldn't be able to do it but because of gendistry uh picking which one you wanted to breed that's what made it awesome but gendistry was gated in ftb continuum you had to use the royal jelly from the imperial bees to be able to build the stuff for gendistry which i did like that a lot
<laughs> yeah, plain forestry bees. Yeah, pure it, pure cancer. That's true. So we have enough, right? Can't stack these yet. Oh yeah, it was nighttime. We don't have any visit. We do have a visitor in our boat. A fly has landed in our boat. I wonder how many things can land inside of it. So there, there, here, boop, 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 schwoobity whoop. Now we have a, a oh God. <laughs> I guess we already have blood in our smeltery. Where did the blood come from though? Cause it wasn't in there. Was it just because it was hot? I always thought you had to have fluids in there first. But now what's going to happen is it's going to fill up with, with maggots from the, the flies flying in there. Oh, you don't need fluid anymore in 1.16? Okay. Well, that's good to know. Brout, we have a fully functional... Tinker smeltery now. And I don't think the smeltery ore doubles. Let's see. Ore. Iron ore. Use and melt. Wait. Pulverizer. The pulverizer does double. With a chance of byproducts. The crusher. 60% chance to double. It's the pulverizer. Now, pulverizer is a guaranteed double. Arc. Melting. Yeah, two ingots. Cool. So expert no mode doesn't change it. Uh, we can now or double with our tinker smeltery. So we can toss them into the to the Tinker Smeltery to be able to cast these guys out. I'm already dreading finding another fortress in the in the Nether. That's the thing that I dislike the most when it comes to uh, 1.16 is finding another fortress. It always takes forever. So we can melt it. We can ore double in the uh, smeltery. That's good enough for me. We got a fly in our boat. All right. Let's see. What can we munch on? Sooty honeycomb and an RGB honeycomb. Cool. There we go. We get rid of that. Put that in there. Got a bunch of food. We need more leather so that we can make the smoker. Would it be a waste, though, to make the smoker now when we could just make the uh, campfires and just build some bee stuff right next to us? We could do bees tomorrow. Chunk base structure locator. I'm not sure. I've never used that mod before. Unknowingly. And I've never knowingly used that mod. So we can definitely do this. Let's go ahead. Grab our industrial hem. And we can do this. Put some hemp down. We can also... Chunk load this. Let it grow. You and you. Boop. And we'll leave that guy there for a second. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and stop streaming and I'll leave the game on AFK so that the uh, industrial hemp can grow. But with that, 
it's a big bummer that I gotta go with eight people watching. Uh, all eight of you, thank you so much for being here. It means a lot to me. You've really, like, boosted me for today, for the weekend, of course. It feels good to, to have people watching. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop off for right now. I have some stuff that I need to take care of today, some exciting things. And uh, I'm gonna probably stream around the same time again tomorrow. Uh, and we'll continue on with upgrading our backpack, and we'll probably get into bees. So, with that, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for being here so much. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep the series going, and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full, uninterrupted footage, you can go to my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. The VODs will be saved there.